Hey folks, it's Freely the Banana Girl. I wanted to quickly talk about deer antlers, okay, and just give people a little bit of information who don't understand the way they're obtained. Firstly though, I'm just telling you where I am at the moment. I'm waiting for Harley, who's doing a 24k running race in the cold, in the rain, and like the conditions are just ooh, very, very cold. So I thought I'll make a video and you know, the deer antler subject is, is really close to my heart, and I know I've been talking about it a lot lately. It's because it is important. You know, we have to speak up whenever we see an animal suffering. Some people have said to me, why don't you go after the big guns? You know, why don't you go after Monsanto and McDonald's? And I do. I do that too. But if something's happening in my backyard, so to speak, like in the raw food movement, I'm going to go after that, definitely. I say we go after all animal exploit exploiters. Okay, I, I really think they all need our attention. One animal suffering is too many. So that's why I am going after this so passionately. The disgusting way these deers are handled and this whole process needs to be exposed. And I can't believe these guys are actually selling this supplement. It is, to me, it reminds me of, you know, when the elephants get their, their tusks removed. Okay, the deer is still alive, but... Wow, there's some serious mental and physical damage done to the deer. Because I was reading about bucks and how attached they are actually to their antlers. Like, obviously they're attached to them, but especially during the velvet stage when the velvet is forming. And this is a time when they get hacked off because that velvet is the active ingredient in this deer antler, almost gold, whatever it's called. So that that time the buck is really really attached to his antlers and if you see him fighting he will not use his antlers he's protecting the velvet he will use his hooves um, if he's running through the forest if he's socializing he's very protective of his um, antlers he will not knock them anywhere and it got me thinking like wow you know how much psychological damage is done to the deer after having his velvet antlers removed Imagine that. He is so protective of them. He is so attached to them. It's kind of like forming his identity and someone comes along and just hacks them off. We don't think about the psychological um, impact. We don't think about that at all. We're just like, oh, you know, there's physical damage, but how do we know how that is affecting him on an emotional level? We don't know and we can never know because we're humans and we cannot go inside the deer's head and work that out. We can only imagine. And for me, even... Having my hair chopped off is going to be some emotional turmoil, let alone a limb. Imagine me having a limb chopped off. Wow, that's life changing. Okay, it grows back. But that in that moment when the deer, the buck is so psychologically connected to the antlers, the damage is definitely, it's going to be lifelong damage. And having that consistently done every year, it's crazy. And to make this almost gold deer, antler, velvet, whatever wanky sort of name that they give it, you cannot get the antlers off the ground. They need to have the um, active ingredients from the velvet, so they cannot be picked up off the ground. Just be sure of that. And it is not a humane process. Several people, or you know, at least two men, are needed to hold to pin the deer down. They're injected with chemicals. And then a saw is used to cut it, like a bone. Like you would cut any bone, a saw is required. That is never humane. Never, ever humane. And man, David Wolf, I am just so surprised that you would be selling this. I remember buying your book back in 2006 and, you know, really getting into it, being inspired by the motivational aspect of it, being a bit confused about some of the recommendations, which I still am today, but, you know, being overall inspired and thinking this guy is really into animals, you know, he's really passionate, he's a peaceful guy, and I was inspired. But now I'm like, what are you doing, man? You know, the almighty dollar, greed has just taken over. Just please connect with your heart. You know that this is the wrong thing to do. And for me, like, these guys can be courageous now and step up and go, okay, I'm going to take this off the list. You guys are right. I mean, you don't even have to say you guys are right, of course, but... I think that would be really courageous and I would have so much more respect for them if they did that. And I'm sure a lot of other people would as well because we're up to about 10,000 signatures. 
guys, what does that say to you? This is serious. You know, people are pissed off. They don't want this to happen anymore. It, they, they're passionate about it. This is disgusting. You know, don't claim to love animals on any level if you're doing this. That's all I have to say today. And I want you to know that this is not a humane process and your voice is needed. Thank you for all the videos. The videos have been amazing. I'm going to make a video where I, you know, splice in everybody's video and do a whole big video. I think that's going to be powerful. So I will see you next video and keep those signatures coming.